G'day, and welcome back to Down the Shed with Byron. Now today, we're working on the old GQ Patrol, and we've got to knock one or two of these jobs off, and one of them being sway bar links. Now I've done a service on the old girl a while ago, and found that I think I was missing a bolt out of the rear one, <laughs> and um, I thought, why not just uh, um, buy a kit and throw it in? And I found the cheapest kit you could find on eBay. <laughs> um, it's actually not too bad. I haven't tested this out before, so, I think it was $100 for this kit. What I'm not happy with is you've got no serviceable spots, unless you can pop that little section out and put a grease nipple in. Um, yeah, so once they flog out, hopefully you can change those eyelets. I might go down to the bearing shop and have a look and see what they've got that you could replace them with. Now it's got nolothane bushes for the top, which I'm sort of a fan on rubber for full driving, but let's give them a go. What I'm gonna use to uh, do the job is I've got a little ruler, um, paint marker, a couple of spanners. Um, in my case, I need a 17mm. And I think if you've got standard on your car, probably 14. But otherwise, yeah, some basic spanners and sockets. A few consumables, WD-40, a bit of Neverseas and rubber grease. Um, and I'll show you a little trick with a hacksaw, file and wire brush. Otherwise, you might need a grinder as well. Now, I've just got it jacked up with the wheel off to make it easier for videoing. What we'll do, spray a bit of WD-40 all over those threads just to make it easier to undo. What I start by doing is undoing that top nut um, because it's held by the lower ball joint there. Now, if that ball joint's all collapsed, you can use a pair of multi grips or a shifter to hold it and then, uh, yeah, undo that top nut. Now, with that undone, we'll move on to the ball joint. And we'll um, undo that. Which is pretty much falling apart. There we go. What I'll start off by doing is, because um, these are to suit anything from two inch lift upwards, um, we're gonna screw the eyelet on so we know how far it actually goes on. What I've done there, I've screwed it all the way up till it's bottomed out, and I'll just back it off, probably a quarter of a turn or so. And what we'll do is we'll just put a mark roughly where it um, ends. Now what we'll do is we'll just unscrew it again and measure how much tread that was. So roughly, let's say, 30 mil, three centimeters, or about an inch. Well, 25 mil is about an inch, isn't it? Okay. Depending on what you like to measure in. Now I've just given all that a bit of a clean up. So uh, that's all sorted. Now I like to try and run sway bar links pretty much parallel, but you just need to check under your car, depending on what size exhaust or aftermarket exhaust, how much clearance you've got. So I think I just got to go about there-ish. Now we'll uh, just loosely put the sway bar link up into place. Now the kit does come with a couple of different bolts. You've got a 12 mil bolt and a 10 mil bolt. So that's just depending on what size eyelet you've got here. Now if that's all flogged out, basically I'd drill it so you've got a 12 mil. So you've got the op opportunity to do that. Where mine's okay, we'll use the 10. So you've got these little spaces as well, which um, sit inside the rose joint here. And what we're gonna do is we'll just mount it on the outside for now, so you can see where to line things up. So what we'll do, we'll push that up. And just remember, once you've tightened this up, it's gonna give a little bit. Just rotate that rose joint around and try and hold it square. We'll wind that nut down to roughly where it looks right, if you know what I mean. So with that all in place, you've got a little bit of slop in that rose joint here. Just holding it up and you're lining it all up. As long as you're happy with that. Now, I'm just going to put a little white mark there. 
and we'll uh, sort it out. Now we have that mark on the sway bar link. We just need to measure from there down roughly 30 mil and I've just come back up to about 28 and I've put a white mark just on there. What we'll do now, we'll take this over to the vise and we'll cut that bit of the thread off. What I like to do when we're cutting threads on bolts or whatever, I like to put the thread you're cutting off in the vise. So that way you're not damaging anything else and it's got a better grip. Now that was the mark where we want the rose joint to butt up to. That's the mark where we want to cut off so we can screw this on. Wind the nut down. So it's just before the mark where you want to cut off. Now with the hacksaw, where that little white mark is, we'll put the hacksaw blade just in it and just slowly start by going back and then we'll cut that off. The final section where it's about to fall off, just go slowly and catch the sway bar link. So with that cut off now, wind the nut back. And what we'll do is use a wire brush and just clean up the ends of the threads. You can use a file as well and just go on a slight 45 just to clean off any of those burrs. And once you're happy enough, um, I'll probably go a little bit more, but what you can do is you use the nut to clean up the threads on the end and just go roughly halfway, then go back on again. If it feels a little bit um, tight, just keep cleaning up the ends of the thread and then that should come off nice and smooth. Let's see if it goes into the rose joint now. This would be the test. Hold my tongue right. There we go. So I'm just going to tidy up the end of that thread a little bit more. Now I'm happy with um, the end of that thread. What I'm going to do is we'll measure how much thread we've actually got there. And what we'll do, we'll transfer that to another um, sway bar link. So we've got matching pairs. So there we go, just measuring that up. It's roughly, let's say 55 mil. So I'll just transfer that over to the other one, about 55-ish. So we know that's what we need to cut off. And um, I'll make another one of those. And there we go. We've got two sway bar links for the front. And what I'll do, I'll just bang a bit of um, never seize on the threads. Just uh, coat that up. We'll screw the rose joint on. And what I'll do, I'll just, like I did before, we'll bottom it out and then we'll back it off quarter of a turn and um, then we'll go fit them up. Time to reinstall. Now you can either use a bit of silicon spray or a bit of rubber grease um, and you'll notice on the bush it's got a flat section and a little step up. Now the step up section locks into the sway bar mount. I've just placed it on like that. We'll slide that up. The other one, so that there locks in. We'll put the sway bar on. Put the nut on. We'll do that up. Now to hold that shaft so it doesn't spin on you, I'm just putting these collets in to the rose joint. You can put some never seize on these to make it easier for next time if you wanted to. Throw that around there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the bolt through this way and put the nut on the inside so any rocks and debris that come up don't damage the end of the thread. Again, you can put some never seize on this bolt if you wanted to. Put that nut on. Now just remember I screwed this on and then backed it off quarter of a turn. So this is going to probably move a bit and then tighten up into the rose joint. And what we'll do, we'll just put the spanner on here 
and um, send that home. Now that's firm, we'll move on to this rose joint again and um, reposition it. Swing that around, just tighten up that. All right, that's tight. We'll tighten up that um, locking nut to the rose joint. All right, now that's tight. We'll just centralize that so it's looking good. Now, if you have to change your D bushes for your sway bar link, and you're not sure what size rod you've got, simple way of doing it is grab your spanner. I've got a 21 mil at the moment. And obviously, that's super loose. 17 mil, same thing, loose. Grab another spanner, just go down until you find a firm one. So 15 mil fits firm on that. So technically, you'll go down to your um, parts supplier and say, we've got a 15 mil sway bar link rod. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> um, and then they can get the right eyelet for you. Well, dirty thumbs up. I got stuck into the rest of the sway bar links, which is pretty much the same procedure, but the rears are slightly longer. So just be aware of that. Measure a few times before you go cutting once. <laughs> um, now on these old GQs, they've got a sway bar disconnect on that right hand side rear. Um, if yours has still got that, rip it out, throw it in the bin. Um, mine's long gone. Now it's the same procedure for a GU patrol, but just double check uh, the rear left hand side where it's got eyelet to eyelet for that sway bar link. So yeah, just double check that. I have made a video on that a long time ago. So um, I'll throw that in. So just double check that. If there's anything I've missed, throw it in the comments. Otherwise, yeah, take it easy and see you when I'm looking at you.